Hey guys, this is Hang Van Gogh. Welcome to my channel. Today I invite a beautiful French lady here. Hélène Demet. She lent me her canvas to create this makeup look for you. It's all about the lip focus look. We keep the eye very soft and it's really about strong red lipstick. I think the look quite beautiful. We're really happy with the look. I hope you enjoy the look as well. Give the channel always a lot of love. Subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumb up. And don't forget to follow all of us on Instagram as well. Thank you. To start every makeup, I always prep the skincare first. The first product I use always lip balm. All the skincare I use today is from Barbara's Derm. This is more a luxury skincare. If you able to afford them, you should because it's quite a beautiful brand. The second product I use is the Hyaluronic Serum. This is when you need an extra hydration, it's calming. I always press the serum on the face. You can rub them however you like, but I think this is the, for me is the most effective way to apply serum. Don't forget your neck as well. Whatever extra, all we put on your chest. The next product is the eye cream. I know a lot of you forget to use eye cream, but I think once you pass a certain age, you realize that you really need to take care of the eye area. It is the most delicate area of the face and a lot of time people forget about it. Close your eyes. Especially if you a makeup person, you use eyeshadow, eyeliner, rubbing a lot on that area. So I feel like the eye area is where you really, really taking care even more. And always very gentle when you apply eye cream. last product i use is the face cream this is the beautiful face cream for everyday wear it's perfect under makeup a lot of hydration but it's not sticky at all I say in every video, give your face a lot of love. Little massage, the pop in. I also use a face tune to depuff. This is like a ice I put in the freezer, so it's pretty cold, but I think it's so nice. I do recommend you use these with products on, whether moisturizer or oil, so it's collide better. You see how cold it is? It's like I put on the, the freezer session, but it feels really nice, right, Helen? Mm -hmm. I think this is a great way to stimulate the skin collagen. for foundation and concealer today. I'm going to use the Honest CC Cream. This is more like a tinted moisturizer. They have SPF 30. 
and then the concealer I use from KVD this is the green apple concealer they have quite a great coverage this is a beautiful concealer Helen have gorgeous skin like she have absolutely gorgeous skin that's why I use CC cream very light very sheer and then the concealer I just use where I want to cover a little more but overall her skin I don't think she needs much at all if every day where I would put just a little bit concealer that's all because Helen on the neck and the body is a little more warm than the face so I'm using the color somewhat in between like closer to the body so a little more color and you see because it's a tinted moisturizer it's very sheer so even I use the color a little darker it's still very easy to blend you see this is quite a beautiful CC cream it's great for someone who doesn't want too much coverage and want to feel really really natural on the skin you see it does cover really well but have a very sheer natural effect you see that when I first put the tinted moisturizer on it is a little warm but you can see after you blend it out it's quite perfect with the body so that's why when you chose foundation and tinted moisturizer make sure consider that the body and the face because a lot of time because the face we use sunscreen it's always a little lighter than the body for me i always choose match between and that way you can blend out easier and i think this is like a nice color on helen because it's like it's just blend really well together For the concealer, I use mainly under the eye area and just a little bit around the nose and a lot of mouth here. The rest of her face, I think is flawless. You don't need to do anything else. Look up at me. You see that I just put a little bit around the mouth, around the nose, and just a bit here. This concealer is covered really well. If you want more coverage, you just tip in more. I just do very light cover because she doesn't need it. So just a very little. I also just got these two products from Makeup by Mario. One is the Skin Enhancer and one Skin Perfector. The Skin Enhancer, I think is innovative. It is like a bronzer, it's balmy. I mean, it's quite beautiful texture. So the shade I'm using is light. So you use this as the contour cream bronzer any way you like. For me personally, I feel this is great for people who have more drier skin or normal skin. I think if you have quite oily skin, this could be a little too balmy for you. But again, you will set them after so you still can use them. But if you're the type of person don't set the skin after, you might find this a little balmy. You could use the next shade, it's more light medium. If you like it more sculpted, it's more color. I use this one as a light shade because I think she looks great, very sculpted, without looking too heavy. And you see the color I'm using and just sculpting everywhere around the face. It's very balmy, it's very creamy. And I do a little bit around the nose, just so you have that little sun kiss. Before I set the bronzer and the foundation concealer, 
I'm going to do my cream blush first. This color, they look quite bright, but this is a beautiful color. You use only a little bit and it gives a very nice, that sun kiss, that glow within color is beautiful. And you can do very little or you can do a lot if you want more color. And a lot of time when people look at this color, they think it's too intimidating, but I think they're quite gorgeous on the skin. You can go heavy on if you want to, but for me, I just want a little bit. So that's why I didn't go too heavy on the color. You can see the difference. It's just a very, really gorgeous color. And you can add a little more if you like. Same on this side. This is the great foundation brush by you for the blushes. This is a great brush brand from a makeup artist named Toby Henny, and she's beautiful, at, like affordable brushes. So you guys should try it out as well. You can see the color is quite beautiful. The skin look quite dewy right now. It's actually quite beautiful, but you still want to set the makeup a little bit. I'm going to use the Shivanshi loose powder. The color I'm using is number three. You can see that's more a pinky undertone. A little bit under the eye area. But make sure you blend the concealer out before you set them, otherwise you set all the crease. And then a little bit everywhere else. You can set the cream blush a little bit as well. This is like a lip and cheek, so you can use that blush for the cheek and the lips as well. I now use the Skin Perfector to set the color I used earlier, where I do the skin enhancer. And I think the best way is just mix all together. And I think if you use the bombing one, you definitely have to get this as well, because I think without this, the skin, you need to set with powder. Otherwise it doesn't set, because it's very balmy. I will also put a little bit on the nose area. I think she looks just beautiful like this. She's ready to go. You don't have to do much more of that. But of course, you know, it's a makeup video. We're gonna still gonna do eye and lips and everything. But I think for every day, I think she looked quite sculpted. She looked healthy and... For eyebrow, I'm going to use three different products. The brow with pencil the marker and some brow powder as well to start I use the powder first and the shade I'm using is called taupe for all of them and you can see what I'm gonna do is I do a little bit with the small shadow brush and I draw the eyebrow a little backward This way, it makes the eyebrow look a little fuller without any harsh line at all. You see up like that. Next, I use the pencil, elongate the shape a little. See. 
go back with the shadow brush. Maybe you just use a little gel, it's ready to go, but I'm going to use a brow marker as well. And this way I create a few individual hair. So to make them look even more fluffier. And this is just, you know, detail in the eyebrow. And then I use some brow frizz just to set the eyebrow. I'm doing the same on the other side. I'm going to do the lips first, and then I'm going to decide what I'm going to do with the eye. I mean, she looked just incredible, just like this, that I don't think I want to overdo too much of everything. And so I think the best way, just maybe do a beautiful lips, and then I can decide where I go with the eye. That's sometimes how you're going to do makeup. You know, you just step back and you decide on something and you see how it's look. Otherwise, you keep add on, add on, and that's a lot of time can be quite heavy. For lips, I'm going to use the lip liner and the lipstick from a brand called Citizen. They used to know for do a lot of nude lipstick, all different nude shades. I used to use them for that, but they come out a good range of red as well. And they have like quite different red. And this is the shade that I chose. I think it's gorgeous on Helen. To start, I use a lip liner to define the lip shape. You can see that she has quite beautiful lip shape, so I just follow pretty much exactly the same, maybe just slightly on the higher area here. Slightly smile for me. It's better to define there first. And then on the bottom, And then this way slightly. And then they go this way. And then you just fill it in before you put the red lipstick. The lip liner pigmented, even like you can do just the lip liner alone, it gives you a beautiful color already. For lipstick. It's a beautiful matte texture. This is such a beautiful red lipstick color. I think it's so gorgeous. So I think the face look gorgeous just like this. But I think I'm gonna define the eye a little bit. I'm going to use this cold pencil. And then just do close your eye along the upper lash line a little bit not too much and i'm gonna blend it out it's really just keep a little you know tight lining on the lash line not too much this is a great way that you don't want to take away the power of the red and you know just Keep the eye very soft. 
and instead just black I use more like a warm brown this is more like a chocolate brown let's see I think it's quite beautiful and I do a little more here and it's nice than just the black because sometimes you know we always use a black for everything and you just smudge it out see I think that's just quite gorgeous and then look up I'm just gonna clean up a little bit here because she would close the eye I don't mind this come a little bit just to define the eye shape. Close again. It's something like that. Oh, and this is just a cold pencil from Fenty Beauty. They come out with two different shades, this color and black. Look down for me this way. And I do a little more on the lash line just for tight lining. Just a little bit like that. I think it's beautiful. And we do the same on the other side. See. You can see that just a little liner. I smudge it out. I think this is more like a reddish brown. It's not really like a chocolate. Depending on the skin tone, I think it's look kind of reddish. I'm going to use Champagne eyeshadow from Chanel for the crease area. This is a cream shadow. Just really define the crease area a little more. Like a little wash over the crease. for me a little bit the corner on the bottom as well not too much close again Let's see wow I'm going to use the highlight stick from addiction just to give more luminosity for the face. You can see that I just use a little bit, certain area. And this is a beautiful, small champagne color. I think it's gorgeous. And then what you're gonna do for me, look straight. I'm gonna do a little bit on the corner there. A little bit there. I'm going to use a little bit on the eyeball area as well. I'm going to curl the lashes. We are struggle with the decision whether the makeup we should put mascara on or not. Half of my team thinks she shouldn't have mascara, half with mascara. But I know everyone loves mascara, so I'm going to give it to you. But usually if this is for photo shoot, I stop a while ago already. I don't think she need any more than that. But I guess for every day, women feel like they have to have mascara. I'm going to use the mascara from Victoria Beckham. And this is the volumizer mascara, but it's very fine. So you're still very defining. And I think I'm just going to do one good coat on the top lashes and a little bit on the lower lashes. I'm going to set the makeup with a setting spray from One Side Beauty. That is the final look guys. This is my version of do a lip focus look. So everything just about the lips and 
you enhance the eye and everywhere else but it's just really enhancing and this is really the focus and i love how sculpted she is you know the color and the shading everything i think it looks so perfect together but look i hope you enjoy the look give the channel always a lot of love subscribe to the channel give the video a thumb up and don't forget to follow all of us on instagram as well and thank you kelly for creating this beautiful hair i think it looks very chic with the the look together thank you Thank you.